Hi guys, 18 Dapper here and welcome to this match preview for this Saturday's League 2 fixture at Mansfield. It's Mansfield Town versus Doncaster Rovers. All being well. Let's get the video started. So guys, welcome to this match preview. Hopefully it's not another match preview that I end up putting together and it's a waste of time. There's been three this season where games have been postponed. I don't think the weather's too bad, so hopefully this game goes ahead in League 2. And it's a big game towards the chasing pack of the playoffs, Mansfield Town versus Doncaster Rovers. If you're an existing subscriber, thank you so much for supporting the channel and sticking around. Um, it is greatly appreciated. If this video has brought you to the channel, please consider clicking subscribe so you don't miss any future content. And if you are new to the channel, this is a format that we go through match previews in. We'll look at the previous meetings between the two clubs, current form across all competitions. I choose a Doncaster Rovers player to say a few words about, and then I also give my opinion on the one to watch for Mansfield Town, but you know your club much better than what I do if you're a Mansfield fan. So if there's somebody else we should be watching out for in tomorrow's fixture, please pop them in the comments down below. And then we finish the video off with three predictions. The predicted team lineup, thanks to FanHub. Me and the family have got a predictions league table, so there's an update on that. And then a score prediction, the all-important score prediction at the very end. So without further ado, let's get into previous meetings. Donny and Mansfield have faced off a total of 70 times in our history. Rovers coming out on top on 21 occasions. We've shared the spoils on 17 and Mansfield have got the edge in this fixture historically with 32 wins out of the 70 meetings. But we drill down into our more recent five fixtures and it's as even as you're going to get. Um, two wins each and a draw sandwiched in there as well. So we we'll go back to August 2016 in the league trophy and that was a 2-0 away victory for the Rovers. Fingers crossed it's something like that tomorrow. And then later on in that season, December 2016, it was a 1-1 draw. In all fairness, I'd probably take that um, at this moment in time. And then the return fixture at home, Rovers won that 1-1-0. But more recent games, the FA Cup and the earlier game this season, Mansfield have got the better of us scoring six goals across those two games uh, with a 3-2 win and a 3-1 win both at the Rovers ground. So... Yeah, more recently, Mansfield have got the edge and it's going to be a tough one this weekend as well. But football's a funny old game. Let's see um, how we do come five o'clock tomorrow. Current form, difficult one to judge because we're in fairly even form as well. Uh, Rovers, it's difficult because we've had two games postponed. Um, but the last time we were out, it was a 1-0 defeat at Leighton Orient. But our, our last five... Three wins, a win, a defeat, two wins and then a defeat. But like I say, Harrogate and Tranmere should have been in between that defeat and this game. It's very difficult to judge. Mansfield on the other hand coming to this one um, with a draw, a victory, two defeats and a draw. So inconsistent uh, form coming into this one. As I mentioned, <laughs> two games postponed so it's made it feel like such a long time since the Rovers last played a game of football. So I'm not sure what to expect from, from this crop of players at the minute. I was hoping for a bounce back against struggling Crawley. I think I might have said Harrogate earlier, sorry. Uh, it was Crawley and Tranmere, uh, the games that have been postponed. But yeah, I was hoping for a bounce back against struggling Crawley and then hoping for home comforts to be showed against Tranmere. But both games postponed and we are where we are. So it's very difficult to judge the, the, the January editions. Will they impact the squad, won't they? We can only wait and see. Uh, we need to find some consistency over the next couple of weeks if we're going to achieve the, the targets that were set out by the club at the start of the season. Um, but it seems to be getting a little bit further away. Playoffs, yeah, it's going to be tough. I don't think the window's been particularly great, but I don't want to judge it too early by we've not seen the players play on the pitch as well. Mansfield, for me, one of the better teams I've seen this season um, down at the Eco Power, so I'm fully expecting a tough game, but they've lost a couple of key players as well this window. On to Mansfield, currently sitting ninth with a two-point advantage over the Rovers coming into this one, and they're about as inconsistent as, as what we are, and many teams in this in and around this area of the table as well. They've got 11 wins and 9 defeats from their 26 games and they've scored one more than they've conceded. So I think there's a chance that we can get something in this one, but we've, we've got to be on it um, from the first minute to the last. And like I say, it's so difficult to judge with the additions that have come in and some of the players that we've lost as well. So yeah, 
your guess is as good as mine on this one. Um, Mansfield, they're coming into this one in in not in not so great form um, with one win in the last six league games and that was a 2-1 win at Struggle in Hartlepool. Notable draws though in those six games are against High Flying Stevenage and Northampton. Uh, it does show the ability of what Mansfield have got so yeah it's going to be a tough one tomorrow. On to play profile for the Rovers so on this one I've gone with one of our new additions James Brown 24 year old uh, brought him in on loan from Blackburn Rovers right back and he plugs that gap that Kyle Noyles left James spent the start of the season at Stockport got recalled Kyle Noyles went to Stockport and then we've replaced him with the player who was at Stockport um, but Danny came out and said that he likes his stats he's, he's very good on in the areas that he wants that position to, to be focused on I don't know if he's better or worse than, than what Noel is um, but again only time will tell him that one we've got to see him play before we cast any sort of judgment on him uh, but we've got to leave the footballing decisions down to Danny and Cops if they, if they think he's going to positively impact the squad they've brought him in to do just that and hopefully fingers crossed he does so welcome to the club James um, hit the ground running put 100% effort in and, and the fans will be behind you for sure um, a goal against Mansfield <laughs> wouldn't go amiss either on to the opponents one to watch so this one was a tough one because obviously um, Lapsley and Hawkins both have, have left and gone to Gillingham they were key players for Mansfield well they have been key players for Mansfield this season I think they've got 12 goals between them five assists so a lot of that attacking threat has gone to Gillingham um, but I've gone with the current top scorer uh, at Mansfield for the one to watch in Will Swan 22 years old centre forward um, 27 appearances 8 goals and 1 assist and I think he'll be full of confidence coming into this one Mansfield had a, had a friendly with Brad, uh, with Barnsley midweek um, just to get some minutes into legs with their game being postponed against Northampton last weekend and Will Swan came on in the second half and scored a very quick hat trick so he'll be full of confidence and I fully suspect that he'll be in the starting 11 against us tomorrow and our back line needs to be on it to stop him from uh, from getting any opportunities because like I say I think he'll have bags of confidence coming into this one so for me the one to watch is Will Swan but as I said at the start of the video you know you club much better than I do so please in the comments down below let us know who us Rovers fans should be watching out for in tomorrow's fixture on to the predicted team lineup so as I've said numerous times in this video I think it's going to be very difficult to judge this Rovers team and it's, it's difficult to judge who's going to be starting but I've had a crack at it this is thanks to FanHub if you've not downloaded the app yet please go ahead and do so and um, so what I've gone with is Mitchell in goal a back three of Anderson Oluwu who hopefully is back from injury for this one and Williams to make up the back three and um, I've got James Brown on the right potentially that could be Charlie Seaman um, and Maxwell on the left midfield two I've gone with Ben Close and Harrison Biggins because that's pretty much all we've got um, additions needed in January but it's come out that our business is pretty much done I don't know if I believe that or not I think we do need a couple more players for sure but in this case we'll go with Close and Biggins in the middle um, and then a little bit further forward I've gone with Molyneux on the right and Todd Miller on the left that could potentially be Hurst um, and Miller replacing Molyneux it depends who's the fittest and who's most ready for this fixture and then we've got George Miller up top on his own uh, with potentially Lavery coming on in the second half I'd love to see two up top but that's my predicted team lineup for this one please pop your predicted team lineup in the comments down below um, and we'll see who's closest on the day on to the predictions league table so obviously no change in this over the last couple of weeks because we've not had any any games but if you are new to this me and the family predict scoreline for every single league game if we get spot on we get three points we get the outcome of the game right but not the scoreline we get one point we get completely wrong we get no points and obviously no movement in the table max is still first on 18 chris in second on 16 points dad in third on 11 and i need to get into double figures still rock bottom on nine points but i don't mind if i don't get into double figures on this one because if you watch my channel regularly you'll know that I always predict with my head and not my heart if I predict with my heart it's a win every single time um, but 
in this one I think it's going to be a tough fixture Mansfield have scored first in a number of their home games I think it's their last three home games and not come away with anything so there's vulnerabilities the frailties there hopefully we've got enough to exploit those vulnerabilities and frailties but I just can't I can't put me put my finger on I can't work out what we're going to look like tomorrow so because of that and because of the inconsistencies that we've got throughout the season I think home advantage will tell I think Mansfield will run out 2-1 winners hope I'm wrong don't mind staying rock bottom of the predictions league table uh, but yeah I'll always predict as level headedly as possible and that's what I'm going to go with and that's where I'm going to leave this preview if you've enjoyed it please stick a big thumbs up on it for us please comments in the section down below subscribe if you haven't already as always thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one